And I said that we scheduled this event around two events. The second event is coming up next month, and I hope you'll all try to come. Uh, it's going to be on November 7th at 1 o'clock in Fusselman Hall. Javier Zamora, Poetry as Resistance. So that's going to be just a five minute walk across campus. Uh, Javier is openly and proudly undocumented and he writes beautiful poetry. He attended the College of Marin and then UC Berkeley where he did, received a bachelor's degree. He then earned his master's degree from New York University. Last year he was a Wallace Stanger Fellow at Stanford University and he is currently a fellow at the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study at Harvard University. Javier's father and mother fled the Salvadoran Civil War. So as you look at Mr. Detz's images today, ask yourself if you see a little boy or a little girl. Those children in the pictures could easily be Javier. You might also ask yourself, how is a child transformed into a poet? Finally, there is a third event that we didn't know about when we planned the timing of this exhibition, but it's the most important event of all. The California Community Colleges have declared this week to be Undocumented Students Week of Action. When we look at Mr. Detza's photos, with the eyes of compassion, we see a clear connection between the Civil War and the current immigration crisis. We see that the violence in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, not to mention the violence that continues to this day, is a main cause of the current immigration crisis. Our undocumented students at the College of Marin are heroically determined to get an education, a transformational education. Of course, going to college is challenging for everyone, but it's especially difficult for our undocumented students at this tragic time in our country's history. A time of uncertainty and a time when hate, hatred and xenophobia are being encouraged at the highest levels of our government. In the face of all that uncertainty and hate, our amazing undocumented students study attend classes, carry out research, work, take care of their families, and they don't give up. We are proud of all our students at College of Marin, but we have a special place in our hearts for our immigrant students and students from immigrant families. We are immensely proud of our undocumented students. Can we please have a round of applause for them? So while you look at Giuseppe's exhibit today, you might want to keep in mind these three transformations. The transformation of Oscar Romero from a priest into a saint. The transformation of Javier Zamora from a student into a poet. And the transformation of College of Marin's undocumented students from people with dreams into people with an education. And next, will you please welcome the president of Associated Students of College of Marin, Liam Campbell. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm really excited to be a part of this event as I think it's really relevant to our current political atmosphere and the challenges that many students at College of Marin face. At ASCOM, one of the most integral values we practice is equal opportunity. In other words, we work to give everyone here the same chance at success. I think that we all have a commitment to solving the issue of inequality in our community and the very first step that we can make as individuals is to educate ourselves on what's going on outside of our own lives and the hugely different experiences we're all having. By observing this art today, you're participating in a form of communication. You're getting a glimpse into the life of someone else and you're getting one step closer to understanding their story. And if we can strive to understand as many perspectives as we can, it'll have some huge impacts not only on ourselves, but on those around us. Our community will become stronger. We'll likely see more students successfully reaching the objectives they set out for by going here. There are countless more. There's no doubt that Detz's artwork helps open the lens on what's really happening in El Salvador. Really what's happening in El Salvador still is happening in some ways. But as you appreciate this artwork and gain a more complete understanding of oppression there, I urge you to consider how similar events experiences and injustices, although very different in form, may be happening here in Moran and the Bay Area right now. Thank you. I'd like to introduce this event. 
event sponsor, Douglas Mundo, the executive director of the Canal Welcome Center. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, buenas tardes. Listening to the transformation stories and seeing those pictures and um, going back to my years when I came to the United States as an immigrant myself, uh, I can testify uh, with the transformation as well. Um, I remember those days back in El Salvador and when I got to deal with the conflict. Uh, I'm a survivor of the civil war in El Salvador and um, for different reasons I moved to the United States. The main reason, poverty. Secondly, because I want to get a, a better opportunity that there was at that moment. We were lacking a lot of opportunities in our country. And I couldn't, I couldn't continue. It was trying to save my life. It was trying to do something different in my life, or stick to the poverty and maybe end it. You know, who knows? I don't know where I, I will be at this point. But today, I'm here as the director of the Canal Welcome Center, founder and executive director of the Canal Welcome Center, and so proud to be an immigrant. So proud to be a Canal resident. So proud to be a former student at College of Marine, uh, and you know, I have been going through a lot of this community to really be part of this transformation and becoming a contributor in this community. So today, the Canal Welcome Center, you know, it has been serving low-income families of Marine County for the last 17 years working with canal residents, working with immigrants community all over Marin County. And today probably is the last event of the Canal Welcome Center. We are also transforming. We are also utilizing this opportunity to tell you that the Canal Welcome Center is going to transform into the multicultural center of Marin. That is going to be... of our organization and with the intention to continue supporting and expanding our cup of work to the other immigrants communities. Marine County is the home of more than 50,000 immigrants. And by the way, for those who think the Latinos is the, group, is the number one group, we are not. We are not. Asians. It's the number one group in Marine County now. So. We also have been working with different ethnic groups, different organizations, and we are trying to expand the scope of work. And once again, today, I want to say one more time for the last time, this is the last event of the Canal Welcome Center. <laughs> and how wonderful it is to be here at the College of Marine. And I want to thank you, the College of Marine, uh, for partnering with us in this project. I also want to thank all who have been involved in this process. And before I introduce, uh, the artist today, the photographer, I want to say something quickly. It has been a journey in my personal life as a human being, as an immigrant, as a student, and now as a professional to really feel welcome in Marine County. It has been quite a journey. And we understand that moving forward, we want to make sure everybody in Marine County understands that we all are here to contribute. We, want, we don't want, we want to change the wrong perception about immigrants that we only came to this country to get, to get something, to receive, to be recipients. I want to tell you from this point, to the future, we want to be recognized and being seen as a contributor as well. I remember those days when I was on the street looking for a job. I remember those days when I was sleeping on the carpet, sharing a room with a family, 
you know, from another country with a friend. I remember those days when I have to come to the ESL classes. Place, you're here, right? <laughs> remember me, huh? We work together, huh? And a few others that I have been meeting through this process. So I want to thank the College of Marine as well, not only for the opportunity to allow me to develop the, my, uh, and achieving my educational dreams, but also for developing this partnership and allowing us to share with the Brother Marine community that we are here to transform ourselves, to contribute as well, and that we want to be part of this community. We dream with a Marine County who will be a better place to live, to work, and enjoy for all. So, what's wrong with that? So, I think I want to thank you once again, uh, those who have been part of this effort. I don't want to say name because I'm terrible at forgetting all these names, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for allowing us to be part and adding one more element of transformation today. And on behalf of the Canal Welcome Center, I want to take the opportunity to invite you to two events that are coming up. One is the day that we're going to launch the Multicultural Center of Marine. October 27th, we're going to have a community gala at the Marine Center. And, you know, those who are interested in attending, we still have some tickets that you can join us and celebrate with us the transformation of the Canal Welcome Center into the Multicultural Center of Marine. If you, get, if you need more information, there are some uh, postcards, uh, you know, at the table right there. And also, this year, we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the Dia de los Muertos. Who knows about Dia de los Muertos in our communities? All right, fantastic. The Day of the Dead celebration. We don't honor, we don't celebrate death in the kind of negative way. The Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead celebration is a celebration of life, birth. It's a transformation. Once again, everything is coming to transformation. And this year we're celebrating the 30th anniversary and I want to invite everybody in this room to join us at Pikui Community Center or Albert J. Border Community Center in Pikui Park uh, on Saturday, November the 3rd from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. So, now the reason why we are here. After seeing the transformation, and seeing one of the, the, the person being uh, transformed into saint yesterday, I mean, over the weekend. Uh, just want to say how proud I am from working with this good friend as well, who has been putting together these images. When Giuseppe, when Giuseppe told me about this idea, I took it as a kind of personal assignment, I would say. Because for many years working with this community, I haven't been able to really express or do something on behalf of my community. And when we took the opportunity to put together this photographic exhibit, I say, well, it's about time. It's about time to contribute. It's about time to share the work that others are doing in our community as well. And little by little, we have been doing not only photographic exhibit like today, but recently we did a, a, a art exhibit in the community, and we're going to continue doing this and more in the future and in the years to come as well. My dear friend Giuseppe, I don't have much to say about you, man, more than I'm just proud for the work that you are bringing today. Um, I know it has been uh, quite a journey for you as well in this process and I just want to thank once again I want to thank you, your family and everybody who has been supporting us and especially I want to mention the Marine Community Foundation because since then the Canal Welcome Center has been able to support and sponsor this event as well. So without much introduction, without much to say, I will let my dear friend uh, Giuseppe Dessa to come and present his, his work, but most importantly, what this means or meaning for him in this process. 
please let me welcome Mr. Giuseppe Tessa. Thank you, everybody. Good evening. Buenas tardes. Um, I'll try to be brief because I get nervous, you know. <laughs> I might end up crying. Anyway, just maybe uh, just to uh, introduce myself, I went to El Salvador in 1990, and uh, to make a very long story short, I, I went there just to try to uh, make a difference, you know, just to be involved in something. It was, seems like it was a possibility that uh, in a small country in Central America, there was uh, a possibility for real change. And, uh, well, history told it a little bit differently, but I tried. And uh, I went there as a um, volunteer for the local Human Rights Commission for two months. and ended up working with them for over four years. And then I stayed there for over five years. You know, there I met the mother of my kid. And now I'm married to a Salvadorian. And uh, in five days I'm going there. Anyway, I kept really a... Uh, a relationship with that country, you know, and uh, it's in my vein, I can't take it off, and I'm actually thinking about moving there, but anyway, uh, as uh, they, as everybody already said, is this is an event related to uh, the history of El Salvador, to immigration, and um, for me, uh, when I was there and doing the photographs, I don't know if you can call it art, um, I have uh, sometimes difficulty with that word, I basically was documenting what was going on. And uh, for me, it was a, a way to relate and to participate. You know, I use, uh, I use the camera as a, as a weapon sometimes. You know, I was really shooting photos sometimes. I was shooting at people with that. Sometimes I use it as a, you know, a moment of poetry, of love, of beauty of uh, condemnation, and uh, I use it in many, many ways. That's the way I use my camera, that's the way I use myself in that contest, you know. So I wouldn't classify myself as an artist in that sense, you know. Maybe an artist of life, you know, but... And uh, since this event basically brings together, you know, as I said before, immigration and politics, and, uh, and Monsignor Romero, you know, it was uh, became a saint uh, two days ago, I guess. I want to read you something, you know, but it's... Uh, It's a message, you know, that a friend of mine, um, some people in this room knows her too, put on Facebook uh, a few days ago, you know, she was at the, uh, she was fortunate enough to be able to be in Rome, you know, she's Salvadorian, you know, and she wrote this little message of something that happened to her and her sister a long time ago, and uh, I knew already about it, but I think she summed it up really good, you know, what I... But I want to say, anyway, I'll try to read it without stopping. Um, I'm going to read it in Spanish and then I'll translate it. A dos adolescentes de 15 años, de 15, 17 años, las llegaron a sacar en una madrugada de 1983 11 hombres de civil. Pasaron 48, 50, 60 horas y no aparecían en ningún cuerpo de seguridad, ni en la morgue. La mamá de las adolescentes estaba loca de dolor y de angustia, y les pidió con todo su fervor a Monseñor Romero que hiciera un milagro. Lo hizo. Aparecimos en la policía de Hacienda. 35 años más tarde, estoy emocionada en el Vaticano. Agradeciendo en calidad. Agradeciendo en calidad de reaparecida el milagro de mi vida a Monseñor. Deseo estar en nombre de miles y miles que no pueden venir porque no aparecieron. 
se hará justicia. So, um, the translation is, uh, you know, uh, two adoles adolescents of 15, 17 years old, they got uh, taken out of their house early in the morning in 1983 by 11 uh, men in the civilian clothes. And uh, they disappear, were disappeared for 48, 50, 60 hours, and they didn't uh, appear in any security, um, how do you say that, uh, in, in any police um, place, and uh, knee in the morgue. Uh, the mother of the adolescent, it was uh, uh, crazy of, uh, of pain and uh, anguish, and and asked to Monsignor Romero the, to make it a, a, a miracle. A, a, a miracle, thank you. <laughs> and he did it. Uh, we appear in the uh, Treasury Police. 38, 35 years later, I'm uh, emotional in the Vatican, uh, giving thanks and, and quality of reappear. You know, they, uh, um, Milano, what was it again? The miracle of my life to Monsignor Romero, you know. And uh, I wish uh, to be here in the name of a thousand and thousand that didn't come because we couldn't appear. And uh, justice will be done, you know. So, anyway, I'm, I just read this thing because I want to put it in contest a little bit for people, and sorry if I'm getting emotional, but it's. Uh, you know, when you were captured by the security force in El Salvador, you know, you really didn't appear again, especially the treasury police. You know, where the, the, the more bastards, everybody else. If you get your treasury police, you know, if you appeared again, you appeared tortured in pieces on the side of the road. So, that, in that sense, that was a real miracle, what happened to them. You know, I mean, it's... Uh, and, uh, and I think it's, uh, you know, it goes along with uh, what I uh, was trying to do there. I wasn't trying to do miracles, you know, I mean, I tried, but it didn't work. But it's, uh, uh, it's, and it brings together the fact that uh, all this, and I want to mention this, you know, all this was, grand, in grand, in big part was paid for and sponsored by the United States. And uh, this needs to be said. And uh, it's really something that I feel free about it, it's about taking pictures and exposing my picture. And, uh, and uh, since I had a mic in front of me, I'm on top, right? So, I, you know, this is, you know, it's got to be said, you know, the United States was and is being responsible for what happened in El Salvador for a bigger part. For what happened in Guatemala, for what happened in Mexico, for what happened in Panama, for what happened in Grenada, for what happened in, in Chile, for what's happening in, in Iraq, for what's happening in Afghanistan, for what's happening in Syria, and for what happened for the Palestinian people. Uh, for me, this is a work of solidarity, basically, with, uh, with people that need it, you know, and I do that a little bit for myself. Thank you. So thank you once again, Giuseppe, uh, and thank you once again, everybody, for being here today. I want to thank you once again, Dave, sure. for putting this together, yeah, for helping you. us, and for bringing as well uh, the team of the College of Marine. Uh, please express our appreciation to Dr. Kuhn for uh, supporting and opening the doors as well of the College of Marine for doing this in our community. Once again, thank you so much for being here today. As you hear, Giuseppe, he's uh, shedding a come of more than artwork, more than photographic exhibit, part of his life, part of what he called it, you know, come of a, a journey as well. And for all of us who have been through this process, uh, we know what he's talking about. And yes, sometimes we gotta deal with that, and sometimes we still continue healing from what happens in our country. And here we are. Like he said, you know, a lot of have to be with this country as well, and what's happened on there. But here we are, doing our best to contribute to the U.S. society as well. Because it's only when we come to peace, when we find peace ourselves,
that we can contribute as well to peace in the world. So I want to say today that I'm so proud of Giuseppe's work and all, you know, what has been presented today. And I hope that every time or once you have the opportunity to go and enjoy the pictures out there, that take the moment to ask what was happening. What I, what I would do if I, if I would be in that situation at that moment. Think about the mothers, about the kids, the children that their, their childhood was denied. Let's make sure about, uh, let's think about as well in terms of how many immigrants we have from El Salvador in here. How many people you have been working with, whether it is teaching, whether it is offering job opportunities, whether it is, you know, just creating a path to success. And once again, on behalf of all of those who came and, and are here among us, I want to thank you. I want to thank you all. Because we also have been able to find those opportunities that we needed to succeed. And we want to make sure you guys understand that we are here to really do and, and do our best for our communities. I know there is a lot of political stuff going on around in our country. I'm not here to, to deal with that. I'm here to really share who we are and also to share from the Canal Welcome Center's perspective the work that we do among the immigrants community. So we want to extend the invitation to those other ethnic groups you know, in the community who wants to join us in this effort and build something together in the transformation of the Canal Welcome Center into the Multicultural Center of Marine. And I want to end by saying once again to those who have been helping us over here, they probably you should mention all those names, but otherwise, amen. Please express our appreciation to all the staff of the College of Marine. We are more than happy to uh, put it together this, our exhibit, and I just want to thank you once again to the Marine Community Foundation for allowing us uh, to have this our exhibit, uh, this photographic exhibit, and sharing with us the best, the best of our journeys, the best of our communities, and I hope that's the image that you guys will get today. Don't think about us as a recipients. Think about us as immigrants, as a contributors. And I think that's exactly what we are trying to, uh, that's what I want you to remember from today's presentations. And enjoy, please enjoy the, uh, the photographic exhibit. Dave? Thank you, and uh, let's give a round of applause. For that. Um, I hope you help yourself to refreshments. The Canal Welcome Center is very graciously provided, and then, of course, the photographs are outside, so thank you all for coming. Thank you. Get enough food down there, please, make sure. Help us with the food. Thank you.